So to do all of that in the digital space, to get it right, means when you get to the shop floor, it's production time. Simon, we're here on the Starag stand at EMO uh, 2023. I've seen loads of machines in action, I've seen chips flying, um, but now I'm interested and curious about learning about the digital twin element that Star the Starag Group offer from TTL yourselves. Can you explain firstly what a digital twin is? Because a lot of people talk about it, yep. but I think it's a good place to start. Thanks, Paul. So digital twins are all about de-risking manufacturing. It's all about getting processes into action quicker and then ensuring that um, the process is going to be safe and that the process is going to be as efficient as it can be for making the chips fly. So is this not just an extension of verification software or what's the difference? Sure. Or is that not? CAD CAM to green button process, that's what every business would like to do. And to be able to do that with uh, good post processes, good simulation, good process control, would be absolutely you know, everybody's objective. It's really, really hard to achieve that with complex machines. And would you say, as we look at some of the technology around here, these machines are becoming uh, you know, multitasking, multi-capable. The more complex those parts get, the more important digital twin becomes, it's fair to say. For, for sure, Paul. The, um, the complexity of the machines is definitely increasing. Every single um, uh, business is trying to look at multitasking machines that can do as much as they can do in, in, in one or two operations to complete the, the, the component process. With that complexity, for sure, that's going to mean that more processes have to be right and planned and controlled over time. So to deal with tool wear and other factors uh, within the process. Um, and what does the digital twin actually do then? It, 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 it basically makes the part in a, in a virtual reality so that you know there's going to be no collision, you know how long it's going to take and all of these things, is that what it does in essence? It, exactly that. So there's lots, lots of choices for digital twin technology and Starry Group have been able to uh, adopt all of those different uh, requirements or types of techno uh, technology for the, the, the customer's choice. We can develop them with TTL to a very high standard. So that's post processes, simulation kit, and the integration of say on machine probing or measurement systems. And then you've got a, an end-to-end -end, um, validation of your manufacturing process before you go near the shop floor. Okay, now how do you measure it? Is it not on what you can make from it, but what you can save from it? Is that how you get the kind of justification or the return? It's quite a, yeah. a, a quandary, that one, if that's the right word. So shorter, shorter setup and planning times, definitely a big requirement for, for, for businesses. Standardization of your, uh, your, your methods as well, so that's a re reuse of templates and um, the technology that you developed well, try to reapply that to the next part number uh, as efficiently as you can. And then ensuring that everything is going to be safe so that collisions and uh, process variation are minimized. And potentially with validation or on-machine inspection afterwards. So to do all of that in the digital space, to get it right, means when you get to the shop floor, it's production time. Could you quote using this as well though? Could you create something and create a cost for it and go to your customer and come, you know, be able to give an accurate estimation of, is that part of this? Exactly TTL's business, yeah. We, we engage with businesses around the world to look at a manufacturing challenge that they have where there's some uh, uh, variation problem or cost uh, initiative that they have in place and we apply the digital twin technology and um, manufacturing techniques uh, via templates and it gives us the ability to just give them the answer that they wanted which is cost down and quality up. And before I ask that question I didn't know that that's exactly so <laughs> just for the viewers. Um, finally on the machine type does it matter I mean here we've got brand new H95 from uh, you know the Hecate Compact we've got the Boomer Tech machine making you know anything it within the Starag group can be from a very small part right the way up to huge aerospace components. Sure. So does so this apply throughout? Same methodology. If you're making uh, components that go into a watch, or if you're making components that go into uh, an aircraft or a, a submarine, a power station, it's, it's uh, the same workflow of uh, understand the, 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 the challenges with the components and the manufacturing process uh, variations, and then try to test as much of that in the virtual space, in the digital twin, before you actually get to the shop floor and have committed to you know, high value decisions.